All right, everybody loves a good life hack. Check this one out. A Venezuelan national dubbed the migrant influencers at the center of controversy this morning. He has been using TikTok to coach migrants how to live in the U.S. by taking advantage of laws. Well, maybe this is why TikTok squatters. should be banned. And Adoba reports. In his most recent controversial TikTok video, Moreno is telling his followers to avoid living on the streets in the United States. They can, quote, invade empty homes and live there. Why is he so Same mad? Under U.S. law, if a house is uninhabited, it can be seized, referring to squatting rights in our country. That video garnered almost 4 million views. As we have more Oh, he's getting paid. He's an influencer. Uh, more homelessness. Uh, we are going to see more of it, more more squatting. James Burling is a property rights attorney. But they're talking about all the advantages that you can get from squatting. Uh, and this is one of the guys that, that will defend you, increase. it seems like. In past videos, the illegal migrant bragged that he came to the United States to vacation and now lives off U.S. taxpayers because he had a child in this country. He also tells his followers that he waits for Americans' hard-earned pension checks to come in every month. In another video, he is urging fellow Venezuelans to pay the fines of a 15-year-old migrant who allegedly shot a tourist in Times Square, saying, quote, today it could be him, tomorrow it could be one of you. But this recent video on squatting is making headlines, as Moreno tells his comrades that if they fix up an abandoned home that is deteriorated or in bad condition, they can get credits when the properties are sold. While Burling says that is not the case, the misinformation is now out there. Well, I think publicity, like what we're seeing in TikTok and viral videos of that nature, are going to magnify the idea that squatting is an alternative to not having enough housing. Kind of seems like it is.